Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today, I'm going to be filming a thrift with me video. This has been so requested. I'm very excited to show you guys some of my favorite spots in New York to thrift at and a little bit of my process and some tips as well. It is Monday and this is important because that is when my favorite thrift store has 25% off for customer appreciation. So things are a little bit cheaper and I'm pretty sure they get new shipments on these days as well. So that's why I like to go, you know, discount and you get a lot of fresh stuff. And it's also really early in the morning, so I'm going around the time that they open so things aren't super picked over and I can like be the first one to sift through everything. And lastly, I'm wearing a really comfortable outfit. I have fabric on the floor. <laughs> Really comfortable alpha, easy to change in and out of. I have this cute tube top on. I also bring two tote bags with me so that I don't have to use any plastic bags when I go thrifting. And you know, I can be a little bit waste free with that. So I bring two of those and a good book. I'm reading right now The Three Musketeers. And I have this bag today just because it's so spacious. And I usually like to bring a snack, but I'm not going to do that today because. Um, my bananas aren't ripe and I don't really have anything else. So I just ate a nice like big breakfast and I'm really excited. And yeah, a lot of you guys have always wondered which thrift stores I go to and I am finally going to be sharing that with you. Two other things that I bring are a portable charger. I bring this everywhere in New York as well as hand sanitizer so that I can clean my hands after sifting through like used and dirty and dusty clothing and everything like that. So hand sanitizer everywhere plus the subway is just full of germs. So yeah, me and my little soccer mom self and honestly I probably would have packed myself a huge lunch because I often do that when I leave the house because I do not like spending money on food when I'm out and about when groceries are so cheap in Queens. But um, today I'm not gonna do that because I don't have groceries. So yeah, I have to go grocery shopping later. Anyways, I'm out the door now. See you guys in a little bit. This is Unique Thrift Store, seemingly hidden. It is located on Fulton Street in Brooklyn. You can take the train to J Street Metro Tech and don't be fooled by its appearance. It's very large. The price range is really low. It's probably the cheapest thrift store in this whole video. You can find shirts for $2, shoes for 5 So I just got here. I like to go to the men's section first just to see if they have any cute tees or anything like that um, because I always find so much stuff downstairs at the women's section. I don't like to carry that around with me the whole time. So I just sift through the t-shirts and I look by color and try to find some cool prints. Sometimes I visit the sheet section because I can find nice fabric to like paint on and make tapestries out of or just like use to sew stuff. So my first stop now that I'm down here is the bathing suit section because I found some amazing bikinis. One of my favorite pieces that I've ever thrifted was from this section um, and it's just a really nice like 50s floral one piece and I found a really nice Ralph Lauren one and I literally just found this coconut bra which I'm not going to get but I just think that's amazing. So yeah, I just like to scavenge and um, look through all these. I already found two cute one pieces so we'll see if those fit well. but. Yeah, sorry if it's loud down here, you know. And also while I'm down here, I always look at the shoes, like no matter what section I'm in, I'm always just scanning the shoe section. I really would like to find some cute clogs because I really want clogs. Um, I used to absolutely loathe them and I always saw my friend's mom wear them. And I was like, I don't know if I like those and now I just love them. I want to get a pair and like splatter paint all over them. Like, I'm so about it. So keeping my eye out for those. I'm not really sure how these videos are usually filmed, but I'm just going to keep updating you when I'm in my favorite sections. And right now I am, I am in the like lingerie section. I have acquired a massive amount of things and yeah, this is like one of my favorite places. I also look through the bras because I have found really cute vintage bras here. The one that I'm wearing right now is strapless and it fits so well and I found it here. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff to look through. <laughs> ever come 
come here and the dressing rooms downstairs are full just come upstairs there's like four fitting rooms up here and the ones downstairs are usually always full especially on Mondays because there's so many people here but yeah definitely come upstairs I didn't have to wait I just walked in <laughs> random vintage shop right off the G train and I just found some cute pieces that I'm gonna try on I've been here once before and they always have really nice stuff it's just a little bit pricier but they have really cool pieces so it makes sense these Lee overalls this beautiful beautiful bag it's so big I mean come on yeah this is gorgeous I don't think I'm gonna get it because it's a little pricey, but so cute. <laughs> Welcome to the Break Vintage. As the sign says, you can find pieces here from $20 all the way up to $100. They have such a nice collection. Every time I come in here, I'm inspired, I'm shook, it's beautiful, the presentation is amazing, and it's so clean. And not to mention, the people who work here are so friendly, and I always make a new friend when I walk in. So I just got to the break and it's one of my favorite vintage shops because they have really amazing stuff and at really like affordable, reasonable prices. And I just got a glass of wine. I'm really excited to just sift through. That's good. While it elevates, 40 stories up in space. Next stop is the Dobbin Street Vintage Co-op. This place is amazing. If you're furnishing your apartment, definitely come here. You can buy anything that you see in the store and you end up wanting to buy it all because it all looks so damn good together. But they have an amazing selection of shoes and really funky pieces. They have a lot of 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s inspired pieces, some really funky prints and uh, just amazing amazing decor. They also have sage and crystals here as well, which I really love. And the price range for this place is a little bit pricier, but what I really like to get here are little knickknacks. I found a mug here for $5, but the dresses can be anywhere from like $15 to $30. So it's definitely more on the pricey side, but it's really nice to come in here and just hang out, buy a crystal or two or a wallet or something small, and just admire everything they have going on. It is very, very inspiring, and I don't know how the hell they find so many amazing pieces, but it's uh, just gorgeous. This is the fitting room, which is also just as beautiful, so I wanted to film that. <laughs> So I'm really, really sad, sad, sorry if it's loud or noisy, but I didn't get anything there. I have been trying to exercise some restraint recently and um, I don't get anything unless I'm like absolutely in love with it and I feel like I'll really regret it if I leave the store without it. So um, yeah, that's kind of the thing. And now I'm headed to my last thrift store of my little thrift store tour and it's Beacon's Closet. It's really good, it's huge, wow. Yeah, so I'm headed there now. Welcome to Beacon's Closet. Yes, here we are. I would say it's the perfect medium between Unique Thrift Store and the Break Vintage in the clothing selection as well as the price. They do filter through their donations and try to put the most on-trend pieces out there. And as you can see, they do a very good job. You can find shirts here from $7 or jackets here for $20, so it's right in between. It really depends on what you find. They have a huge collection of shoes and pants. My friends have had great success here, and it's ginormous, so definitely come here if you are in the area. Hey guys, I just got home and I'm about to film a try on haul so that you can see all the pieces that I just found, which I'm so excited about and I'm like 
really inspired by and I haven't really felt super inspired by my stuff in a while so this is kind of like triggering or opening up a whole new door of inspiration for me so yeah I'm really excited to show you that and that will be, probably be uploaded at the same time as this video so the link will be down below or in your subscription box but I hope you liked it and I just wanted to give an honorable mention to a few other thrift stores I did not go to today that I do really really like in New York so the first one is Urban Jungle the second is Buffalo Exchange there's a few of those all over New York and some in other states as well and the last one L Train Vintage has a really nice selection for a reasonable price so yeah check out those as well and I might do a part two going to a few other thrift stores let me know if you would like that and if you found this helpful at all just your thoughts really and I hope that you will join me again in a future thrift adventure and I will just see you next time bye guys